Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Sheet Cottage. Today we're going to talk about printable sticker papers. So I'm going to test 14 different sticker papers today, different types of sticker paper, see which ones are the best, work the best, tips and tricks for cutting them on your Cricut machine, and we will even go through like a water resistant test to see which ones are the best for those applications. So let's get started. Let's look at the brands we're going to use and then let's start doing some print then cut on our Cricut and putting these printable sticker papers to the test. Here are the brands that we're going to test with our Cricut. So the first ones up here are clear sticker papers. So I have one from Neato Labels. I have the Cricut clear printable sticker paper. And then I have a printable clear sticker paper. It is called Printable Transparent Sticker Paper. And I'll link to all these on Amazon, of course, but especially this one, like it was just a brand on Amazon. And as you can see, I've printed all of these already. And we'll take a look at the printing in just a minute. Um, the next are just like matte sticker papers. And the first one is the Silhouette Printable White Sticker Paper. Next, is the Cricut Explore printable vinyl. And finally, I have a matte full-size label sheet from Online Labels. And then for glossy sticker paper, I have two. This one is Royal Elements, and this one is Ava Paper Group. So I also wanna say that every single one of these is for an inkjet printer. Some of them say they're water resistant, but to put them outside, you do need some UV protection over them. So do take note on that. And then for craft paper labels, I bought these printable label sheets from Craft Tiff. And it's sort of like a brownish color. And then I have two versions of printable vinyl that get a laminate over the top. So I have the printable vinyl itself and then the laminate that goes over it. So I have Aurajet and Starcraft. So I have two of those and I only had like a few sheets of those so I just went ahead and printed those up. And then up here is the ones that I couldn't get to print at all. I'm using my HP MB printer and these wouldn't run through no matter what I tried. So the Cricut printable sticker paper, I hear this from people all the time, it's super, super thick. And what usually happens is it prints like this. So this is what it's supposed to look like and it has trouble feeding in the printer, so the first part of the box doesn't print. So if you get this type of situation on something, usually the paper or whatever is too thick for your machine. Um, to use something like this printable sticker paper, you need a printer that has like a rear feed tray so that you could feed it in the rear and not have to you know, have it picked up with the rollers on the standard feed tray. So the HP Envy does not offer that, so I couldn't get this one to work. This Neato Labels, super glossy labels again would not print so some of these aren't super thick but they're the glossy and these like it's too slick for the rollers to pick up these brands i got some of the glossy to work but not all of them and then this one was a printable translucent sticker paper and i got picked it up off amazon again i could not get it to feed through so these three of course i couldn't get to feed through and we'll just set those aside now the rest of these i went ahead and printed but i have not cut yet because we're going to go through how to cut them so these are the two with the laminate here is the craft paper so i just chose this sticker sheet and it is a freebie on my blog and i will link to that below but it's not the best on those craft paper, but I wanted the same sticker sheet for all. But I think like the craft paper would be good for more rustic sticker. And then here are the two glossy. And that one. And all of these are printed with the exact same printer setting. So I picked my printer settings and then I told it to print several copies, like a, a whole lot. So these were literally printed with the exact same printer settings. I do want to note that as well. And there's the silhouette, just the regular sticker paper. And then this is the Cricut printable vinyl. And this one is from Online Labels. And then the clear sticker papers. And these, I feel like, 
these clear sticker papers, I feel like we're gonna have to cut them out and put them on something white to actually see because I think some of the backing papers they are on are kind of an off-white. So we'll put them on something clear to see what they actually look like when they're done. This is the Cricut uh, clear sticker paper and the clear sticker paper from Amazon. So as you can see, I've done a lot of printing. Now it's time to cut. So I'm gonna attempt to cut each of these on my Cricut and see what the results are. And I'll let you know if, if any of these cannot be cut. And we'll go through a few tips and tricks for cutting stickers as I'm cutting each of these. One of them is um, on this, say on this glossy, if your Cricut machine, it needs to see this black box in order to locate the cuts. If it gives you an error message, I'm gonna keep matte finish tape on hand. And if you put that tape just over the box, a lot of times it makes it a matte enough finish that the Cricut can see the box. So that's one thing to keep on hand. Otherwise, we'll go through any other tips and tricks as I'm cutting as I'm doing it. And depending on the thickness, so like the printable vinyl, so this is Cricut printable vinyl, I'll probably just do the vinyl setting, but some of these thicker sticker papers, I might do a sticker paper setting. So it's just gonna depend on what I want. But what I want is a kiss cut. So what I want to be able to do is cut the sticker, remove this outer piece, and have the backing as one piece, but the sticker just peels off the backing. So that's my goal with each of these. We'll see how close I get. So here the Cricut machine is looking at this black box around the outside to locate the cut. cutting around the outside of every one of my stickers. And I'll just repeat this process for my other sticker papers. And I'll check in every once in a while with some results. I put my Explore dial to one notch past vinyl. On your Maker or Joy, you would pick vinyl and then do more pressure. And I was able to cut all three of these materials with a kiss cut. So this is the Cricut printable vinyl and you can see those stickers come off great. This is the Silhouette printable white sticker paper. Again, super great. This is the online labels, full size sheet labels. Now, so these look great with the kiss cut. So I did cut one sheet of the silhouette on a clear sticker paper setting just to show you what you do not want. So you don't want it to cut all the way through. So now, or perhaps you do. So I like them with the kiss cut so I can peel them off the backing paper. This is cut all the way through. So you can see there's a hole in my sticker paper. So this, the backing and the sticker cut. So now you would have to like use your fingernail to get that backing and then peel it off. But if you want to do that, you can do that. Just You just need to pick a thicker setting for your Cricut instead of the thinner material settings. So I'm going to keep going and cut some more sticker paper and I'll come back every once in a while and update you. All right, here's a tip when you're cutting a new material. So this is the Cricut clear printable sticker paper. I put it on the setting for the clear sticker paper, but before I unload it, I'm cutting a new material. I always check my cut. So I'm just gonna lift it from the mat just a little bit. And I'm gonna see if I can peel these stickers back. And they are not coming off. So this material did not cut all the way through on the first pass. So what I can do to try to salvage this is press it back down on the mat and then press this Cricut seed once again. It will go over the same area and cut again and hopefully we'll be able to save these stickers. And now it's went over that same sheet a second time. I'm gonna repeat the same process. I'm gonna peel it up. I'm gonna check the cut on the sticker paper and see if it's all the way through this time. 
This time I can lift my stickers from the backing paper. So I was out able to salvage this project. So now I'm gonna remove this and cut another material. Here are the clear sticker papers all cut. So the Cricut brand and this brand I got off Amazon both needed to be cut on the clear sticker paper setting and I hit the C twice. And then this one from Neato Labels is a little thinner so I cut it on the vinyl with more pressure setting like I did the labels before that. But I told you we would put them all on a white sheet of paper. Let's just see how clear they actually are. So that is the Cricut version. And this Cricut version and this Amazon version are way thicker than the Neato labels. That is the one off Amazon. And we'll do the same sticker for the Neato. I would say, like if you were to give all three of these to me, I probably couldn't tell the difference once it's on the white. So I do think it, they do look slightly off-white on this sheet, but I do think it's just the backing paper and not necessarily the sticker. So I do think they would all be white on your paper. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to some other labels and I'll come back with some more results. I did add a craft paper version on purpose. That is because the Explore machine can only do print and cut on white. So even though this is a super light color, there's not enough contrast between the black and the craft paper to register with the Cricut. So what it does is you can see everything starts flashing and it gives me a print then cut error on my machine. So it is unable to see these marks, so it cannot cut this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my maker because the maker can do print then cut on colored paper. And I'm gonna cut this one with my maker just to show that they can be cut. But I just wanted to note that for those that haven't explored, you may wanna watch getting any colored labels, you just stick with all white. While I have my Explore out, I moved on to my glossy sticker papers. And I mentioned on the gloss, a lot of times it cannot read the box. And that's exactly what happened for this Ava Paper Group vinyl sticker paper. So I tried a few times with my Explore and I could not get it to work. So I'm gonna add this matte tape. And again, it just tried to read the registration lines and then it gave an error and stopped working. And I'm just want to cover the lines. I don't want to get it where the tape will be on the stickers. So I'm going to do that on all four sides and then try the cut again. All right, so here are the two versions of glossy sticker paper. So both of these, I had to use the tape hack all along the lines to get my Explore to cut them. After that, it cut them fine. I did a few more hacks that did not work, including like people say it's lighting. So I removed lighting, I added lighting, none of those worked. The tape, matte tape around the box is what worked. So both of these I cut on the vinyl setting with more pressure, both worked great. Um, I will say both of these, they both say they're glossy white sticker paper and they both say they're water resistant. Now, they'll both note that they're not UV resistant. So the ink you use in your inkjet printer is not UV resistant. So these would fade in the sun without some kind of coating or protection over the top of them. So just to note that, I will test the water resistance, but I wouldn't use these outdoors as they are right now. So I am going to move on to some that have a laminate over the top and we'll talk about how you cut those with your machine. All right, so let's talk about printable vinyl that has a laminate you can put over the top. So what I like to do, the laminate is the same size as the vinyl, but I like just to take my scissors and trim that to where it fits inside of the box. That way I don't have to worry about that gloss affecting my cut. So now, that this line is still on a matte surface. So on both of these, I've cut the laminate to the size. And then for applying laminate, I just peel back that laminate and just do a little bit. Start at the top, line that up, and then use something like this scraper 
and work your way down. So just slowly pull that backing paper as you apply the laminate to the printable vinyl. So I'm gonna repeat this process on, this one's the Auroguard and I'll repeat it on the Starcraft. And then we'll cut both of these and I'll talk about the longevity of these that have a laminate over the top. Here's the two with laminate on the top cut on the Cricut. So what I had to do is I picked um, printable sticker paper, the white version. The Auroguard, I had to do two passes. The Starcraft, I had to do three. These are super thick once you get the laminate on. Um, so these, I've actually done tests and I'll link to a video below. I've done tests for car decals for both of these. I can say they're both like UV resistant. I like the Auroguard better for weather resistance. So this is my pick for any type of sticker if you want it to be UV and water resistant is the Auroguard. And then finally, I just wanted to go back and show that I did cut, I just did the printable vinyl setting on my maker for this colored version, just to show that you can do the colored paper on the maker. Now, let's talk about water resistance. So some of these say they're water resistant, but are they really is the question. So normally I would say wait 24 hours before you get any of your stickers wet. These have only been printed like maybe two hours. We're gonna go ahead and test each one and see how water resistant it is just to do the test. And I'm just gonna do a dunk test. I have some water, I'm gonna dunk about half of it. Pull it out, sort of dry it off a little bit. And so that one actually did not fade. So this um, craft tiff printable label sheet is pretty good and I'm just gonna kind of put them back. Um, and then this one is the Royal Elements. Just peel that off, dip about half that in. And actually that one looks really, really good. So no change once you dipped it in the water. There was a little bit of change on the craft paper. I didn't expect the craft paper to be water resistant though. Um, and this one is the Ava. I'm gonna use the same sticker every time. You can actually see a little ink from that first craft paper one. So I'm gonna try to do it in a different spot every time. That one, nothing came off. Looks really good. So I would definitely say those are water resistant. And now for the clear sticker papers. So this first one is the Neato clear sticker paper. I just dip half that in. And that one just came right off if you can see that on my towel. So I would definitely say that the Neato clear sticker is not water resistant. And we may, let's see, we'll flip our towel so we can get a clean area. And then this one is the clear sticker paper that I got off Amazon and I'll link to that below. It really doesn't have a brand name on it. Just dip that in about halfway. And again, that ink comes right off of this version. And then this is the Cricut printable clear sticker paper. Again, the ink comes right off. And the Cricut printable vinyl. That one actually looks pretty good. It got a little bit of a white spot on it. And the Silhouette white printable sticker paper. And I do see some ink and I can tell on the sticker that it's coming right off. And finally, this is a online labels, like a full label sheet. And I can tell that's running just by pulling it out. So 
The only ones that were waterproof were the actual ones that said on the packaging that they were waterproof, but I just wanted to test them all for you. So those would be those glossy sticker papers. So now let's talk about all the sticker papers and how they compare. All right, now let's talk which are the best, which are the least expensive, that type of thing. Um, first of all, the ones I do not recommend, especially if you have a printer that only has a feed tray, and that is the Cricut printable sticker paper, the Nito labels, super glossy vinyl labels, and then there's printable translucent sticker paper from Amazon, and I'll link to all these below in little sections. Now let's talk about just like regular stickers. You wanna make just matte stickers for something. Um, so none of these would be water resistant, so you would have to pick and choose like what you wanna use it for. Actually, the least expensive is Cricut printable vinyl. So that's in between Cricut printable vinyl, the Silhouette white sticker paper, and just the online labels full label sheet. Now I will say this is the online labels full label sheet, like the white matte version. They also make printable versions that are waterproof and stuff like that. I did not test those today, but they do make other versions. So be on the lookout for them. It's like a really good quality company. But of the ones I tested of the matte papers, Cricut printable vinyl. So make sure it says printable vinyl and not printable sticker paper. I personally love this. It does make a fairly thin sticker, but it's pretty inexpensive for what it is, and it works really, really well. Um, prints really great. I'm personally a fan. That's usually what I make my stickers out of is that material, actually. Um, so then let's move on to clear stickers. So let's say you want to make a clear sticker. Again, none of these are going to be weather resistant, um, but the least expensive and my favorite is this printable transparent sticker paper from Amazon. So it's like super generic packaging, but it was really amazing once printed. Again, it's not waterproof. And I put that up against the Neato Labels clear sticker paper, as well as the Cricut printable sticker paper. So for the price, I would definitely, and the price and quality, I would definitely recommend that sticker paper. Okay, so then I only tested one of the colored versions just because I just wanted to give you an idea. It was pretty good and it, this stuff is super cheap. It's Craft Tiff printer label sheet and I got the craft paper version. I'm not wild about this color though. So it's kind of a yellowish craft where I like really a darker brown craft paper. So I wasn't really wild about the color. I probably like wouldn't use this generally for my stickers. I have used the online labels craft version. As a matter of fact, I thought I had some sheets of that left to do some comparison and I've used every single bit of it because I love it that much. And I really like the online labels version. So if you can find that, I'll go ahead and link to that below just because I've used it for years. Um, if you can find that version, I think you'll really like it. Definitely not waterproof though. So let's work into the waterproof versions of the stickers. So first of all, if you are going to do indoor stickers, both the Royal Elements and the Ava worked. Um, the Ava is less expensive and I feel like they are about the same quality. So I would definitely get the Ava vinyl sticker paper. Now these are waterproof, not UV resistant. So keep that in mind. They would not work for something that is outdoors or would be hit by the sun. So light would affect these stickers eventually without anything else over the top. But if we wanna go one step further into weather and UV resistant, um, both the Aurajet and the Starcraft do that. I personally love the Aurajet. I will link to where I did like a massive experiment between these two for car decals. I think Aurajet with the laminate on the top is the way to go for printable car decals. Um, the Starcraft is just too thick and it is weather resistant, but it, the water kind of starts creeping in around the sides eventually. So I personally love the Aurajet and would use it again and again for like printable car decals. So if you want something that's weather resistant and UV, then I would go the, with the Aurajet with the laminate over the top. And I'll link to that below as well. So there you go. 
your major, huge, big comparison of printable sticker papers. Hopefully this helped you decide what kind of sticker paper you need for your stickers and gave you some tips and tricks for cutting like that Ava vinyl sticker paper is great, but you're gonna have to factor in using that matte tape on the box to get it to actually cut um, because of that glossy finish. So just note all of those things, especially if you're like selling stickers and need to price them out. So hopefully that helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section and ask away. Maybe you have a favorite sticker paper, drop that down below as well. You can never tell. Sometimes I will do like another big comparison and get a bunch more different brands and kind of compare and contrast. You can just never tell what I'm gonna come up with. So drop those below if you have some favorite sticker papers that you want me to try in the future. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I do comparison videos on craft supplies like this all the time, and you don't wanna miss any of those because it gives you some really great information without you having to test 14 different sticker papers. So I hope that helps you. I hope you'll subscribe, and I thank you so much for joining me today. See y'all next week. Bye-bye.